and realize that she doesn't know nothing at all. It just sounds so poetic, so profound. All right, today I'm checking out Joni Mitchell. I'm listening to the song Both Sides Now. Let's get into it. Joni, will you sing us a couple more? Okay. Will you sing us a couple more, Joni? Okay. Okay. I'll do this one. <laughs> All right. Okay. Randy Carlisle sounds like a kid at Christmas. She loves Joni Mitchell, huh? in the air and feather canyons everywhere I've looked at clouds that way but now they only block the sun and they rain and they snow on everyone so many things I would have done But clouds got in my way I've looked at clouds from both sides now From up and down And still somehow It's cloud illusion that I recall I really don't know clouds I really don't know clouds at all That's a boom for thought What? Moons and dunes and Ferris wheels The dizzy dancing way you feel As every fairy tale comes real I've looked at love that way But now it's just another show you leave on. Yo, you can tell this song means so much to Brandy Carlisle. She was tearing up. She was wiping her face. Even before that, just seeing her facial expression literally gave me goosebumps just by seeing her face. Which is weird. Usually it's the music that gives you goosebumps. But sometimes seeing like a live session, the face combined with the music gives you goosebumps. But just to see someone so moved by a song, it's like, dang, now I really want to know what this song is about. I really want to know. But I mean, I feel like what she's doing, she's reflecting back on her life. She said the thing about the clouds, that whole section about the clouds, that totally broke my brain. I was like, man, I need to process this. Because I think what she was saying, she would let clouds get in her way. So I guess less desirable circumstances get in her way. That would be a cloud, right? Like a negative event. She would let that get in the way. And now she's had time to look at clouds from both sides, upside, downside, you know, every side. And she said, what, the clouds are an illusion? The clouds are an illusion or something like that? So it's like, what, they didn't even exist? These negative events didn't exist. They only existed because you labeled them as negative. Is that what we're talking about? You could have labeled them as like something somewhat positive. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even, I think that's what we're talking about here. But that's why I said that's some food for thought. That's something I would have to chew on for a while. But I think I'm in the ballpark at least. But I feel like this song, she's reflecting on her life. Both sides now, like maybe she's been young, been old or something. She's like seeing things from every perspective. And now she's telling you what she thinks about that. Laughing when you go, and if you care, don't let them know. No, don't give yourself away. Oh, I've looked at love from both sides now, from give and take. And still somehow it's love's illusions that I 
call I really don't know love I really don't know love at all so excited that's so good to see it's so wholesome you know it's so wholesome to see somebody so happy for somebody else or just to be around somebody else did the world just stop did the world just stop well yeah it kind of did the world did kind of stop i was thinking about nothing else nothing else but this song sometimes your mind can drift you know a song can take you on a tangent but i'm present thinking about this song like what what profound wisdom is going on right here i don't get it and i, I get what she's saying somewhat I'm not completely lost. I'm in the arena, but it's like, mm -hmm, you know, she's looked at both sides from win and lose and realized that she doesn't know nothing at all. It just sounds so poetic, so profound, but it's also above my head a little bit. It, it basically things are, are not what they seem to be. Pretty much the meaning we give things is flexible, but we think it's concrete. Like, you know, what, what are we doing here? What are we doing? I feel like, like I said, I'm in the ballpark. I'm in the arena. I don't have it. You know, that's that's something you got to chew on for a while. But the sound was beautiful. That was definitively, objectively, a beautiful sound. Like, that sound definitely could be in some kind of fairy tale princess movie or something like that. It was magical. It was beautiful. Now, lyrically, I think what she's saying is profound. But how could I know unless I know for sure what she means by it? It just sounds like something you would hear. You go, dang, that was a good quote. I'm gonna steal that for a tweet. You know what I mean? You know, people like the little quotes and tweets and Instagram. It's, it sounds like something like that. Like there were several of those in that song. It just stops you in your tracks. So I get why Brandy Carlo was saying, did the world just stop? Because that kind of song just stops you. You have to think about it. I, I guess you don't have to, but I don't know how I can listen to something like this and not think about it. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. You go. She told me, boy, you to go. Like, I don't know. But I don't 